A medication that's been used for nearly the last eight decades is becoming ineffective in treating certain types of bacteria. Now doctors are taking a closer look at how they're prescribing antibiotics. Action News Jack's Courtney Cole spoke to a local doctor about how this happens and what steps you can take to protect yourself from this resistance. In today's culture, we tend to want to go to the doctor for a runny nose or the first sign of a fever. But Susie Kelly says she's old fashioned and tends to wait it out first. When a child or my grandchildren have fevers, we kind of treat them with fluids and wait and see what happens. We don't go right ahead and go to the doctors. Dr. Sunil Joshi says the urge to take antibiotics right away is leading to your body's resistance. Well, the biggest issue is, is really overuse, you know, so if you're getting antibiotics, um, and it's killing a bacteria, just like any living organism, there are parts of that bacteria or virus, for instance, that, that evade the killing mechanism. Dr. Joshi points to staph infections as a prime example of what happens when antibiotics are overused. It's a common skin infection that has become harder to treat because some strains have become more resistant to treatment. I know, just wait it out is the last thing you want to hear when you don't feel good. But Dr. Joshi says you should wait at least seven to 10 days after you begin to see symptoms of an illness before you head to the doctor and to your local pharmacy. Dr. Joshi said antibiotics are typically overused when it comes to treating respiratory illnesses. We could be talking about sinus infections, um, or pneumonias, meningitis, GI bug infections as well. And so these are kind of things that can have sustainable effects on people. But when it comes down to it, Dr. Joshi says doctors need to do a better job of choosing which patients actually need the antibiotics. Reporting in Ponte Vedra, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Shacks.